So when you're playing Minecraft, there might be times when you might want to delete chunks. For example, if um, a new block is introduced, like Never Quartz, and you had your Never in 1.5 or lower, then you might want to delete some chunks to regenerate them with Quartz in it. That's one reason that you might want to delete chunks and reload them. This is another example. This is a weird chunk glitch. This is a 16x16 16 16 chunk. Um, I identified that by um, my coordinates. So uh, you can see the chunk. Uh, it's 15 here, and I won't go in there because I'll actually fall, sort of. It's really weird. And it is one over here. Okay. So when you've got something like this, in fact, I'll even jump in there. Okay. And so, yeah, something is weird. And my screen's bobbing up and down. I'm not touching the keyboard. And I can't swim back up. I'm stuck here. So, there's not much I can really do. I have to. The only way to get out of here is by switching into creative or TPing myself, which is the two things I did to get out of here last time. So, this chunk is pretty much ruined. I've tried doing F3. Uh, wait, hang on a second. F3A, which reloads chunks and stuff, uh, will reload the graphical part, but this isn't just graphical, this is something in the code is wrong with this chunk. So I'm going to go into MC Edit and teach you how to delete chunks for whatever reason there may be, and then reload them. Or maybe just put in one of your own chunks, if that's what you want to do. So let's hop over to MC Edit. Okay, so now we're in MC Edit, and if you don't have this, then there should be a download in the description somewhere. But we are going to go open up My World, which is World D. I've accessed it before, so that's why it's on this list. Otherwise, you would go to Load World, let load, and then there's my most recent world, and then that second one. That would give a hint to what I'm working on, which I was trying to avoid, but oh well, I guess you know what I've been working on now. So just wait for it to load. Spinning wheel. Gotta love it. Okay, so I'm guessing it's taking me from my point of view. Yep. Uh, back up. So this is weird. It's appearing that it's fine. Even though it isn't. Oh, wait, no it isn't. Oh, this is... <laughs> I actually haven't looked at it in MC Edit. So, who's this down here? What is this? I'm not sure, but that's outside the chunk, so it should be fine. What we have to deal with is what's here. So, what you'd want to do is, first of all, teleport your player outside of there. Um, I've been having weird glitches in the snapshots where it's recoding the players, this is going to be very annoying. Uh, I'm guessing... Ooh, okay, I'm just going <laughs> to move everyone over here. So let's move everyone up here. And everyone be confused when they come back in. Cool Beans is some other guy who got on once by hacks. <laughs> So we're not going to bother about him, and that should be player down there. Yep, player. Okay. And so now we're going to go out of that and press 1, and if you don't know, I'm pressing the hot bars on the keyboard. So we fly over here, and we select this chunk. Left click twice, and then select chunks. So now we have the whole chunk selected. And so, if you're in if this is just random terrain, like in the middle of the ocean where you're building nothing in your world, then what you would just go to do, you would click, uh, which one? Delete blocks, and then delete chunks, and then yes. And then it would just reload uh, the world using the terrain generator next time you come around. However, this is an issue for me, because... This is all 1.5 terrain, and in 1.7 the terrain generator was updated. So, I think 
when flying around in a copy of this creative world, I think there's an ocean and desert around this area, so let's hop back into Minecraft and see what happens when we come back in. One thing I should tell you before you open up Minecraft. First of all, you have to save what you've just done, which I only realised as I was starting to open it up. So, in um, my case, you would have clicked uh, Command C because I've got a Mac, or Control C if you've got a Windows. And second rule: never ever have your world open in both Minecraft and MCA at the same time because it can easily cause corruption. Anyway, so let's see what we got. So, like I thought, it was a uh, ocean, to be exact, a deep sea, and it even generates some lily pads here. So let's go check this out. So we're in swampland, swampland, and now in the chunk we're in deep sea. So I've got a respiration helmet, so it'll be easier to see. This has got a gravel bottom, um, exposes the caves nearby. This is the most simplest and not the best solution you can get. You get weird lighting glitches like this. There must have been a torch in this chunk. And then it's even generating 1.8 uh, diorite in the 1.5 terrain. So let me show you a better solution if you're playing in a 1.6 terrain area. Okay, like I said, my world was generated back in 1.5, which had the exact same terrain generator as 1.6.2 which is the version I've opened up Minecraft in. So, what is it, what do we do here? Well, to get my chunk back to how it was, we would need to get the terrain from this version. So, let's go single player. If I open this up, which is actually my snapshot version, then it would kind of break it. So, I'm going to go not touch any of these. And you'd want to go to create a world, then you just call it um, whatever you want. I'm just going to call it that. And then we'll go to creative and more world options. You would go put in your seed for uh, computer users. You'd go control V, however, for Mac that does not work. So you would go, wait, no, uh, controls in different spots. So you would actually hit control V as well. And there I've just copied and pasted the seed from episode 33 where it was in the description. And that should be it. You would go and create world and then you gotta wait for it to load in so this will take a little bit of time and once we get to a stable condition then oh, okay yep this definitely is the world I recognize it okay so this is true spawn and here is uh, Larry librarian of Fred Farmer's houses yep there's Larry uh -huh. Last time we ever seen my camera, and there's Fred. And there's the hill. Oh, this break brings back nostalgia. I've got a bad stutter, I really hate it. I didn't used to have a stutter when I was younger, but I don't know. So, the chunk is over this way, near the witch hut. So, it should be... What render am I even on? So, far, okay. Well, I guess I'll do that. So that's just fine. There's a witch in the witch hut. Wow. That's the first time. Oh no, it actually isn't the first time. Never mind. But here is the witch hut. As you can see, it is a witch hut. I'm just going to kill you for lols. And your, your potion was rendered weirdly. Hmm, I vaguely remember that. So if I'm right, the chunk should be somewhere around here. So let's go open up this world in MC Edit. Okay, now back to MC Edit. So load up your broken world. So we generate here. I actually tried to fix it just before, but turns out the chunk is broken. So let's try again. So this is the broken chunk. Uh, you, the lily pads are there from the 1.6 um, video world fix, but that didn't work. So select chunks. Now you'd want to go delete the blocks, delete the chunks, yes, and deselect. So this way the chunk is entirely fresh because I think 
it wasn't the terrain that was the problem, there was something actually wrong with the chunk in this case. So let's press 9, which is selecting the one on the right, and let's select this chunk, double left click, and let's go over here and double left click on this pink block, which is actually a redstone block. Now we have two chunks selected, we've got the witch hut chunk and the broken chunk, and as you can see on the top, there is actually a grid for chunks. So from the witch hut chunk, you have to move three right, then one down while facing spawn. The reason I'm using the witch hut is because in the 1.6 world that is the easiest way to find this chunk by using upper chunks. So let us go MC edit and then click load world and video which is our 1.6 world. MC edit again and so we're here. So now we press 9 we select the chunk, double left click and we see Three down, you have to select this chunk. Unfortunately, it won't let you select the chunk this way. So we have to do a different method. Hmm. That's weird. Okay, that's very weird. I don't understand that. But so we've got to play a bit of a guessing game. I think from memory. Oh wait, I know natural features actually down here, so the chunk is actually this one here, I think. Yep, that's the right chunk. So let us go back here, deselect, select the chunk again, so now we only have this chunk selected. And then we go to 1, oh, turns out we can't do it this way. So let's get back in the chunk so we know which one we're dealing with. We hit deselect, then we hit 1, double left click, select chunks, and then copy. And so as you can see, we've got a copy up here. We go back to MC Edit, Load World, Corrupted World. And we wait for that to load. Uh, that's not supposed to happen, but it doesn't matter. So we go MC Edit. And so now, here's the broken chunk. Well, the empty chunk. And we go... I'm just trying to find a good way to put it. Oh, it's appeared weird in the top right, but hopefully that'll be fixed. So now we go... Uh, maybe, let's try something different. Let's press 9 and select the chunk. And no, that we selected two chunks. Uh, yep. Yeah. Now, is there a paste? No. So unfortunately, we have to do this the hard way. So we go back to one and select the whole chunk. And now go paste, make sure you're facing the right direction. And maybe it would be better if I backed off a bit and I could actually see, um, try and align the green, which is what we're trying to copy in, with the blue. It's getting caught on the lily pads, of course. Yep. Let me just try and align this. Okay, now we got it. So now we go and import. Unfortunately, it's a bit tedious to put it in, but maybe it's just my location. And so now this looks fine. Let's open up in the world. And one thing which I nearly forgot save. That's very important. So as we see, the terrain is fixed. There's that landmark I used to identify where we were. And these are the lily pads that were replaced here. I'm just going to throw these away because I've already harvested them a long time ago. So, see ya. And one quick thing. Um, if I happen to place the chunk in the wrong spot, because I was trying to align the green grid with the white grid, say if I place it one block off, 
you could see the nudge uh, thing and then just hover over nudge and it gives you a description how to use it and then you can just nudge it back into place using your W, A, S, D, Q, Z keys uh, where uh, Q goes up on the Y axis and Z goes down on the Z axis that's how Q and Z work in WASD is simple W, A, S, D and say for example the chunk the chunk where one of your man-made features breaks so say uh, say that small hut over there is actually all inside a single chunk say if that chunk glitch happened over here or the whole chunk deleted and re came back again as 1.7 terrain or 1.6 terrain the only way you can get that back is if you have a backup I mean you just um, name the backup something different so for example in the past I've used world DD and that's my backup when I go and use it world D and world DD and then you would paste the building from world DD into world D however if you if your backups are too outdated then you might as well well depending on how outdated it is you might as well not do it so I urge you to make backups frequently I um, recently had a problem with um, some backups uh, some problems with data play data in fact Errorful logged on and he didn't have any data so my latest backup where I could actually fix that problem was two months ago so it's really important to keep your updates and keep many don't keep just like a single one keep many and that way you should be able to fix all all sorts of problems and the problems occur mostly in snapshots anyway so that is the end of the tutorial I hope you found it helpful and if you have please leave a like it shows that I'm doing something right and also comment on well improvements that I could do next tutorial or maybe what I could even do next for the next tutorial. Anyway, I'm giving you a bit of a sneak peek to the next episode, and I will see you hopefully next time. Bye.